For soccer fans in the United States, this World Cup is already better than they ever dreamed. Support for Team USA is growing across the country. A record television audience tuned in for Sunday's game against Portugal. National Soccer Hall of Famer Jeff Agus is with us. He played against Portugal in the 2002 World Cup. We're pleased to have him here. Welcome. Thank you, Charlie. Good to be here. What is it about soccer? <laughs> what isn't it about <laughs> soccer? It's the world game, and so it's, uh, it, it's a passion. It's almost a religion. So can we beat Germany? Absolutely. Absolutely. We're in a great position to advance. If somebody had said, and we are in the group of death with Ghana, Portugal, and Germany, if somebody had said six months ago we were at four points on the precipice of moving on, not only of the group, but of winning the group, I think we would take it. What can you tell us about the coach, Jeff? Because he seems to have changed his tactic. Before the game started, he said, well, I don't know how we're going to do. It's going to be very difficult. It's like he was lowering expectations. That certainly seems to have changed. Yeah, look, I think it's a tactic, and, and he can take a lot of pressure off his players, and that's certainly one way to do it. But I think the, the players in that group are, are of the mindset that they can win this, that they can get through the group. Um, and they can move on, and then anything can happen in the knockout stage. Okay, but, let's talk about yeah, Thursday's yeah, game, right. all right, <laughs> versus, versus Germany. So the U.S., though, is going to have one less day of rest. They've got to do more travel than Germany. Does that matter and in the And Germany is the number one team, period. Right. Yeah. I mean, there's some difficult conditions. They're obviously very challenging, but we have those same conditions here in the United States in Major League Soccer. A lot of our players are playing in our league, like Graham Zussi and Kyle Beckerman. Michael Bradley is back, and we deal with those type of conditions on a week-to-week -week basis in the, in the league. So that, that's not an excuse. It's a fact. Uh, we have difficult uh, uh, flight patterns, and we have the, the most traveled uh, team of all of the teams in the United uh, of, of the World Cup, but uh, our, our, our guys are used to it. Realizing that they are professionals and they've been there before in terms of playing competitive soccer, will there be a psychological letdown after what happened against Portugal? I think you've got to move on from that. I, I think you uh, learn from your mistakes, uh, but you can't let 30 seconds affect the next 90 minutes. And so I think they'll be disappointed. They'll be dis disappointed for that evening and into the next day and then recover. From Give that. us a post-mortem on that blind final minute. <laughs> <laughs> well, any, anytime there's a goal, there's a series of mistakes. And, and, and I think that begins 60 yards away from goal. We lose the ball in a bad place. And then the ball gets to the world's best player in Cristiano Ronaldo, and he delivers a pinpoint ball into into Varela, who puts the ball in the back of the did, net. And did, did you see that coming? Because I was sitting in my bedroom going, no, did you see that coming, no, possibly I, coming? I think it was surprising. Uh, I, I don't <laughs> think we, we saw that coming. The, the team did a fantastic job of managing the game. <laughs> you know, to that point, and, mm -hmm. and it's really disappointing when it comes down to the last 30 seconds yeah, and you yeah. give up a goal. Yeah. I didn't know how Cristiano was going to beat that haircut, but he did with that final <laughs> goal. <laughs> Jeff, thanks so much. Appreciate Thank it. Appreciate we'll it. We'll be watching Thursday.